Are there any books or podcasts that you're currently listening to or something that you revisit, uh, something that would either be applicable to management learners or just something that you love and find uh, so enriching in your own life? And um, I'll boomerang it back to you, Dana, if you have one on the tip of your tongue. Um, I, well, I love to keep up with the news. So I think that's really important um, as a, a citizen of the world to be informed about what's happening. And so I listen to the news every day, um, both being an American, both an American news source and a Canadian news source. Um, and I think that's really important to be able to have those intelligent conversations, to keep abreast at, you know, things that are happening in the world. And uh, yeah, so that's something that I'm committed to doing uh, every day. And then my students, hopefully they find a benefit, but I bring that into the classroom um, in order to think about how the changing, you know, um, workplace is affecting things or, you know, there's a lot out there about uh, post-pandemic um, life of workers, how they feel fulfilled, what they're looking for, all of that. Uh, try to bring it into the classroom to, to keep things current for students. So out of curiosity, as a follow-up, would we hear terms like quiet quitting? Uh, would we hear terms like um, hybrid workspaces? Would that be something that might come up in conversation? Yeah, for sure. My students just read a quiet quitting article last week and using it to think about, yeah, how our expectations and what we're looking for in work might have changed now that we've kind of gone through the pandemic. Um, and then, yeah, thinking a lot about, I still use a textbook and it is becoming increasingly more current, but textbooks often lag behind what's actually happening in the world. And so I augment that textbook with news articles and headlines and, and things to keep, keep um, you know, our students thinking about. For instance, when we're talking about ethical decision making, I'm having them refer to current ethical decision issues and thinking about how their their process would apply um, to thinking about uh, you know different things that organizations find themselves in. Oh my gosh, completely! And is there any uh, news outlet like an app or anything that you use um, that's your go-to that maybe students could also use, or is it are you, you're just pulling from a number of sources? Yeah, I pull from a number. I, I read the New York Times. I listen to PBS NewsHour. So those are two American centric and they watch the national. So mainstream news, um, but keeping it current. Okay, perfect. Thank you. And Anika, um, how about yourself? Any books or podcasts that you're listening to? Um, perhaps something that you would recommend to management learners? Sure. Yeah, I'm an avid podcast listener. I love a good podcast. I'm walking all the time. So um, for me, I like to listen to something. Um, so I agree with Dana, stay informed. A 30 minute news NPR podcast is a great um, way to just stay informed and relevant. Um, so yeah, I mean, there are so many news podcasts to listen to. I guess my advice there would be try and pick one that's a little bit left-leaning and one that's a bit right-leaning just so that you actually gain uh, multiple perspectives and you can kind of see where you land on an issue. Um, to be honest, I listen to a lot of crime podcasts. I don't know why they terrify me the whole time, but I, I do. So that's not very helpful to our students. <laughs> but- uh, Oh, you'd be surprised. I had a previous guest um, who talked about their love of true crime. And they said that one of um, my former students reached out to them and, you know, shot them and they went back and forth about true crime podcasts. So like, it's out there, it's popular. True crime is the number one category in podcasts. Um, I, I don't know what that says about people. And I, I should know maybe being an OB <laughs> person, but um, I think we like distraction. Uh, <laughs> but in terms of um, kind of OB or management related podcasts, there are actually quite a few out there. Um, Adam Grant, you probably have heard of him if you listen to anything kind of management e related. Uh, he's a pretty big name in our field. He has a podcast. Um, it was called Work Life, but I think he's changed the name to uh, Rethinking. Um, so that's an interesting one. I love Freakonomics. Um, just a great podcast. Again, they dive deeper into topics that um, are often quite 
uh, behavioral, which I think is just interesting to learn about people and workplaces and consequences of that. 